Wait, here's, here it is. The only reason I brought this thread along, this is a uh, public records request that uh, I received back from uh, uh, from one of the people here in the county. And what had happened was uh, this particular phone number, 652-5790, is the number to the uh, EM phone number. And that's the emergency manager's phone number, which is now Jess's phone number. And I think previously, I believe it was Teresa Rizzi's phone number. And what this is is a series of text messages that primarily were with uh, former county employees and one former county officer, which I'll leave nameless. But basically what it boils down to is it, it's really a, a series of rather extremely derogatory statements made about a current officer that's up here in the courthouse, which is Lionel Hockey, who unfortunately can't be here today because I guess of a previous meeting. And in, this, uh, in these texts, uh, there was three different uh, threats that were made uh, towards Linnell. And there were threats, one of them was, uh, was with a current employee uh, that threatened to throw Linnell off the balcony uh, where she works, which is on the uh, third floor. Another threat was with a former county employee was to hit Linnell in the parking lot with her car and then a former, other former employee talked about, uh, referred to uh, sniping or shooting Linnell from the overpass. Now, on the surface, we can all say, gee, these people were just joking, okay? But to be frank with you, if any one of these same threats would have been lodged against, uh, say as an example, the President of the United States or the Vice President or any member of Congress, I think we'd be looking at simply a matter of, uh, of minutes before the handcuffs would be slapped on those persons for making such a threat. And these threats are serious because they involve a person that is elected public official, a person the voters of Foster County approved of and put in office. Not that an elected official should deserve more protection than an average person, but when a threat is made against a public official in their capacity as a public official, then that hurts the voters who pick that person. And it's a, it's a slap against the integrity of, of the office. Now, agreeably, uh, you, could, you could always make the statement that none of these people could, uh, could, could or would go through with their threats. But notwithstanding whether or not they could or would go through with their threats, the threats themselves are, are hurtful, and it's the threats themselves create a victim. Because just having the knowledge that somebody is making a joke or, or making reference to doing it in is very unnerving for anybody. But the reason why I brought this up today is because, fortunately, uh, everybody on that list, every one of the people that participated in this, uh, this, uh, this text message, uh, uh, Fred, as they want to call it, is no longer here except one. And that person still works here. And I'd like to know why it is that we have a, have a, a system here where, where you basically, how, how do we handle this? How do we handle an employee that made threats against a duly elected official for this county? I mean, to have this person continue to work here is, 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 is pretty unusual. I mean, it's, it's, it's bizarre. If, if these same, same threats, if we would have taken the same thread and, and we would have interdispersed high school kids' name on here, in here, the ones that gave the threats would no longer be enrolled over there at the high school. They would be gone. They take threats very seriously over there. And, and this is an issue not so much for a criminal prosecution per se, although that, that really should be something that should be looked at, but, but really, how is it that we have one of these employees that continues to work here? One of these employees that, that she's also known, if you look through the thread, she's also known as the stalker. That's her, that's her favorite uh, uh, nickname. That's one that she, and she, she, uh, she relishes in. And apparently, this same employee has been uh, uh, admits in this thread to uh, to stalking Linnell Hockey during the lunch hour. 
And this is this is preposterous to to have people that they, these jobs don't pay that much money. They don't they don't pay that much money, and and and, and, and nobody, even people I've disagreed with, don't deserve this. This is this is absolutely this is something that needs to be addressed. And this this person, this person that that works still works here, needs to come before the commission. And explain why it is that they made these threats and and uh, and what their purpose was when they made it. But this is something that the commission needs to address as soon as possible. This person continuing to work here.